I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Hey y'all, um, welcome to Vlogmas. <laughs> this is not really Vlogmas, but I did need to put out some content so you could either stay to watch it's not a vlog it's very clear in the title that it's not a vlog but you can stay to watch my video i'm gonna just use vlogmas to talk to y'all because i don't have nobody to talk to because i don't really have no friends like that so yeah i'm just gonna talk to y'all about my first trimester it's completely over now so we can talk about it um uh, what i had experienced with being in first trimester and things like that so the first thing that i want to talk about that experience in the first trimester was not being able to eat um i wouldn't have an appetite i would want to eat something and then when i eat it i don't like it like i had wanted some pizza one day and when i started eating the pizza i said i don't want the pizza like it wasn't good no more and it was something else i had ate that i was just like i don't it don't taste like i thought it was gonna taste like it just made me want to like gag like it was i think it was some shrimp and i just was like i wanted this but it don't taste right like it tasted bad onions weren't that good to me like i didn't really like onions the smell of onions it just was too much so like for a little bit i couldn't eat onions in my food and i like onions in my food i like flavors so that was weird um also like i had really really I wouldn't say diarrhea, but I had to poop all the time. Like I was pooping like four or five times a day. Like it was impossible impossible for me to leave the house. Really. Like I couldn't go anywhere because I will always have to go to the restroom. I couldn't be in a car for a long period of time. Like being in a car for more than 20 minutes was really pushing it for me. Like I would get so car sick. So that was a symptom that I was having. Well, not a well, I guess the symptom, but I already knew I was pregnant. Bloating is another thing. A lot of people be like, oh, I'm showing. Most of the time you're not showing. You're just really bloated. And people would think I was showing. I'm like, no, I'm not. It's just bloat. So you are going to be bloated in the first trimester. So don't get your hopes up thinking that you're showing. <laughs> Sorry to tell you that. Um. Also, I was very, 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 very sleepy. I was taking two naps a day. So that means I wake up, take a nap, take another nap, wake up again, and then I go to sleep. <laughs> so I was taking two naps a day. That's a bit much. And my sleep schedule was really off. I was going to bed at 5 o'clock in the morning, 5, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. But now I wake up at 5, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. I kind of like it, though. Waking up early, I can be more productive even though I don't. But I'm going to start being more productive. So I'm going to make a video tomorrow, too what else um i had headaches i'm not really a headache person but i did have some headaches some days not all the time but it's just weird when you are not used to having headaches like i'm just not a headache type of person <laughs> um being nauseous i never this is something about me though i never threw up like throughout my first, whole first trimester I never threw up. Like, I've had the urge to throw up maybe three times, you know, when you get like watery in your mouth, but I never would actually throw up. But I did feel nauseous sometimes. Like, when I would eat, I would feel nauseous, just like kind of queasy. Um, just feeling like sick, not feeling like myself when I would eat or if I wanted to eat. And then when I would eat, it wouldn't really help. Like, when I was eating, I was fine. But once I finished eating, I felt really sick. So my doctor did prescribe me medicine for that, which I only took one time because I was so close to the end of the first trimester. So I only took it once and it made me like really sleepy and <laughs> yeah. So I only took that one time and after that, I feel like when you take it, it lasts for like, it lasts you like two, three days. And like I said, by then I was already at the end of the first trimester. Um, My mood was like bad like i just didn't want to i didn't i couldn't tolerate nothing like whenever somebody you just say something i don't like like i'm auto automatically just got an attitude like 
you can't just say anything to me. Like I'll get either attitude or I'll take like really personal. So yeah, and I would, but I wouldn't like go off on you. That's another thing. Like I was really, really nice. Like you wouldn't catch me going off on nobody, cussing nobody out, except for like, you know, him, my child's father. I, I wouldn't go off on him. But not bad. Like, it just would be like, I just feel like he don't give me enough attention. So, that would be something that's bothering me. Even though he be at work, I don't care. Like, <laughs> I need to talk to you. Like, I want to talk to you. I always want to be around you. Like, it's just a lot. So, that's one thing I don't like is that I don't live with him. So, I don't see him every day. And he work a lot. So, I don't really get to see him and it just that kind of bothers me and it makes me really sad <laughs> so i'll be crying all the time yeah the only time i wouldn't cry in my first trimester was when i was with him if i was away from him at nighttime i would cry myself to sleep every night um so can you imagine how long i was crying myself to sleep probably about 10 not 10 weeks probably like nine weeks of crying myself to sleep which is a lot um but like i said not all the time if i spend the night with him i wouldn't cry myself to sleep i did hear the heartbeat at the end of the first trimester when i first went to my initial doctor's appointment i did not hear the heartbeat all i did was see like i did the ultrasound i saw the baby and then when i went back to the hospital i had heard the heartbeat but i didn't do ultrasound so some of my cravings that I had would just be like, I wanted sour foods. Um, I wanted like, or orange Gatorade was my favorite. Like before I found out I was pregnant, I actually was at the gas station with, I don't want to keep calling my baby daddy, but I'm not telling nobody who he is because <laughs> I know what I did, you know? <laughs> so um, when we had went to the gas station one time, I was like, can you give me orange Gatorade? And I never just really be like, ooh, I want orange Gatorade. It just never is something I did. And he got me one, and I just was so in love with the orange Gatorade. And then I was drinking, like, vanilla Coke. That's so good. Like, I love me some vanilla Coke. And then Sprite sometimes. But mostly vanilla Coke and orange Gatorade was my favorite. Whenever I would eat something, I would need something sweet after I ate. Like, I would need a cookie anything after i ate, i just need something sweet to balance it out <laughs> some people is naturally like that but just when i was pregnant i really needed sweet stuff because i don't really eat a lot of sweets like i'm more of a savory give me some real food type of person but i really was on the sweets after i was my boobs were like really sore the whole time whole first trimester like they were just growing and they were sore um i also had a sore my butthole was sore this is TMI, but some people maybe experience this. Like it was just really all the time. It just felt like pressure on my butthole. Um, <laughs> but I don't have like hemorrhoids or nothing. And I didn't like, you know, but like I said, I was pooping like four or five times a day. But even before like I started pooping and stuff, I was still feeling like a pain in my butt. Um, but the doctor just was like, maybe you need to drink more water. I haven't felt it at all in the second trimester, but like I said, first trimester, I did feel that pressure back there. And I feel like I probably feel it in the third trimester. Once the baby like gets bigger and like, you know, move down more, I probably start feeling that pain again. It was just very uncomfortable. <sighs> Excruciating, not really, but like very uncomfortable and painful. Like I would just want to go to sleep because I'm in pain type of thing, which isn't good. So if you are in pain and you're pregnant, do like talk to your doctor and they could give you something to like help or give you some advice to help with whatever is wrong with you. Like I said, when I was nauseous, I got medicine for that. So don't be afraid to talk to your doctor and, you know, tell me your concerns and questions like that. And if you have a doctor who's not like who doesn't care about what you're saying or not trying to help you get a new doctor, like especially in your first trimester, like it's not too late to switch doctors. Because at the end of the day, this person is going to be helping deliver your baby. And that's not a time where you want to be stressed or uncomfortable. Like, I, whenever I go to a doctor, if I feel uncomfortable, I'm going to let you know. Like, you know, this ain't going to work. Like, when I was younger, my mom actually had to take me to another hospital because the doctor was making me so uncomfortable. 
so comfort is a big thing especially when it comes to your health you need to tell people if you are in pain like because it could be it could be something way more serious than you think um so yeah first trimester it's done um second trimester i feel i don't feel pregnant anymore i just feel normal i do feel out of breath all the time still i was feeling out of breath in the first trimester but i feel more out of breath now <sighs> like i just always feel like i'm holding my breath um i did a genetic oh first trimester i did genetic testing as well but my insurance said that they wasn't covering it at first and then i ended up getting my results but it was something on my results uh, that i'm gonna share in another video what was on my results that i saw but my doctor still hasn't called me that's another thing whenever my results come i see them on my my chart before my doctor say something my doctor don't say nothing i don't know i guess they said sometimes they don't send them to her it's something wrong with it but i already seen them now so you really don't have to call because i already know but I'm going to share with y'all what I had on my my chart. Not my my chart, but what I seen. But not in this video. I'm going to try to find another video for y'all. Because I got to find a way to put it on the video. If y'all want to guess below what I found out from my genetic testing. Comment down below what you think it is. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to see y'all in the next video. I don't want this video to be too long. Because like I said, it's not really a vlog. Y'all probably not gonna get a real vlog until I go to the doctors on the I'm not gonna say I wanna go to the doctor. <laughs> but when I go to the doctors later this month, that's probably when y'all get a vlog because I don't do anything. So yeah, I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. Make sure y'all give it a thumbs up, turn notifications on because y'all never know when I'm post. I'm working on it though. But yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video.